Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone. It is your girl Cassandra Olivia and I am back with yet another makeup slash hair transformation on my good friend Tanisha. And without further ado, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also, this is so random, but let me know if you like my first intro in the beginning of the video or the intro that I put towards the ends. They're both actually intros, but I just put one in the beginning and one at the end. I had two different designers create intros for me, so I just want to know you guys' opinions. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So Tanisha came in about two and a half months ago for her maternity pictures. Congratulations to you. I'm super excited to meet your new bundle of joy. And she just let me freestyle and do my thing. She just knew that she wanted her makeup done. And she also wanted her hair done, which she was gonna do herself because she's a hairstylist. But she decided to let me do both. So I felt super honored. So Tanisha already came, washed, blow dried, and straightened. I just went ahead and just curled her hair for her because she is also a licensed cosmetologist. She does hair. I met her in hair school and she's just a beautiful, beautiful soul. So just giving you guys a little bit of backstory about my friend. I just think she's an awesome person and she literally always comes in and lets me freestyle every look, like down to her wedding makeup. So shout out to you for trusting me and believing in me because hair school days were rough and this girl literally been by my side since day one. So I will always respect and love you for that. So right now I'm going in with ColourPop Bang & Brunette and I'm just going ahead and filling in her brows. Um, because Tanisha's brows are really thin in some areas, I do like to overfill them, but don't have a heart attack, guys. What I like to do is just go back in with some P. Louise base, and I am going to use the shade 4. And I'm going to just go in and conceal the brows, clean them up, get rid of some of the bulk, and then anything on the top part of the brow, I'm going to blend out with some foundation and powder and all that. So in the beginning, I do tend to like overly draw her eyebrows, but again, just trust the process. It's just my method to my madness. And if this helps somebody out there, then my job is complete. So I'm just gonna fill in her brows. I'm using, again, Bang & Brunette by ColourPop. I love these brow pencils, and I just like to use both sides because it does have a spoolie attached. So when you are done, just make sure that you sanitize all of your implements, your tools with um, alcohol, 90% alcohol. So because this spoolie is attached to this brush, once I'm done, I am gonna sanitize this with alcohol just to make sure that it's nice and clean for the next client because you do not wanna use um, the same products, um, especially near people's eyes and their lips, okay? So I'm just going in, cleaning up her brows. The brows always take me the longest, which is why I started first. And I knew that Tanisha wanted to do a really soft and pretty makeup look, which is why I opted just to do the brows first to get them out the way. And then everything else is easy peasy, you feel me? So I'm just gonna finish blending out her brows and concealing them. You guys can pretty much see what I'm doing here and you guys already know. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down below. And I will be back in just a second once I'm done her brows. Okay, so now for the fun part, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Nubian palette. I use this palette every time I'm going for like a soft and pretty look. If it's not this palette, it's the Warrior palette. I believe it's the, the Warrior 2 palette. Don't quote me, but I always use this palette, okay? So what I did was I popped it on the screen. I just put a little X over the shade that I used. It's literally in the top row, um, top right. It's the second one from the right in the top right hand side. So I just put an X on it because you guys always ask me which shades am I using? And I know sometimes they're like the palette is out of frame. So I just wanna make sure that everybody gets a nice little look. And this brush that I'm actually using is also from Juvia's Place. I got their red um, brow, not brow brush, oh my goodness. I got their red um, makeup brush set. 
and this is one of the fluffy blending brushes that came in the set and I really love this because I can use this to diffuse any eye look to make it look really soft and pretty and natural so what I'm doing with this first shade I'm just going in and creating a little bit of warmth to her face and I'm also just creating a shadow just so that way when I do start to do her brows and her her eyeshadow it'll all start to come together and create a really soft and subtle and pretty look Makeup is one of those things where you just have to trust the process. In the beginning, especially if you're new to it, it's going to seem like you're doing something wrong or something's off. I promise you just stick with it and just keep going. And as you go, just learn different techniques and just peep little things that you do that you can get better at with each application. So I always am learning as I'm doing makeup. I'm pretty good. And of course, I do makeup clients and hair clients, but I'm always looking at ways to perfect my technique. I'm always taking classes. I'm always looking at people online, going on YouTube, just trying to find as many different techniques and resources to get the job done as best as possible. Because I love doing like soft and pretty makeup looks. So here I am. I just use my finger as my favorite tool and I went in with that shimmery shade that I showed on the screen. Feel free to pause it to catch that. And I'm just going back in with that fluffy brush and blending the shimmery shade into that shadow effect that we created. So that way it's a nice blend and there's no harsh lines. It creates like a really soft and pretty gradient effect. So now what I like to do, I'm just going in with my crayon case wipes and I'm wiping off any of the excess fallout from the eyeshadow, which is another reason why I like to do the eyes first. So that way there's no fallout on the foundation. So I'm just going in and setting her face with some of this spray that I actually got off of Amazon. It's like a face setting spray. I can't remember the name, but I'll find it in my house and link it down below. And now I'm just going in with some Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 312, I believe I popped it on the screen. And I'm just going in and starting to apply this over her face. The reason why I put a little bit of setting spray on her face first is one, I knew that she was taking her pictures later on and I wanted just to add a little bit of moisture to her skin before I applied the foundation so that way there's a super smooth application and due to her pregnancy, her skin was just a tiny bit more um, dry than usual. So I just wanted to ensure that I'm putting as much moisture back into her skin so that way she doesn't have like that dry, patchy, cakey makeup look. So right now when I'm doing the foundation and the powder, it is going to look a little bit dry until I go in with my setting spray and set everything. So again, trust the process, guys. And I can't say that enough. So I'm just going to um, finish applying her foundation and I'll be back in just a second. Also, while I'm watching this, before I forget, because I know somebody's going to ask, what I did was I matched her neck shade because her forehead is a tiny bit darker than her neck and her um, jawline. So I just went ahead and matched like her jaw part and like to her neck, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to go up and blend this foundation towards the top of her forehead. Now, at the top, you are going to see a tiny bit of discoloration because her forehead is a little bit darker than her um, her neck and her jawline area, if that makes sense. So what I am gonna do is just go back in and contour to bring that shade back. But that way everything's nice and even, but then we still have that nice tan that she had going on. But we don't have you know different shades on her face. So I am going in with a lighter shade just to match her neck. And then I am gonna go back in with a powder contour just to contour and bronze her and bring her back to life. Once I'm done applying everything with the brush, I am gonna go in with a beauty blender. I'm actually using like a makeup sponge from Crayon Case, but it's comparable to a beauty blender. It's a little bit more dense though. And it is damp and I'm going in and just blending out any harsh lines. So I like to blend my face twice. I like to blend it with the brush and then I like to blend it out with a beauty blender just to ensure that everything is nice and smooth. And I do also have a ring light in front of me. It's on full brightness. I have the lights in my room on full brightness. And I like to have my clients throughout the application look to the left, look to the right, look up and down, just to ensure that from any angle her face is blended. She's not gonna have a weird line around her hairline or her neck that's not blended into her face. So I like to just have my clients kind of move side to side and I'll move around my client just to ensure that everything is blended. So when she does go to take her pictures, there's nothing that I missed. So now I'm just going in with some Juvia's Place concealer 
I can't remember the shade, but I'll just tag it down below or write the description. And I'm just doing this to brighten her under eye just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to use that same blender that I used to blend out her face. But instead of using the bottom part, the most like wide circular part, I'm going to use the sides instead to get into those little corners of her eye and just blend everything out. Okay, so now that she's blended to my liking, I'm just going in with some Juvia's Place powder. Um, this is a translucent powder. I will also link this down below because I have all of them and two of them look similar and I can't remember if this is one of the two that I always get mixed up. So I will also just put the information down below. But um, the theme today on accident is kind of Juvia's Place and this was not intentional. I have a lot of products but sometimes I just grab certain things and I'm realizing now that I'm looking back at this, I use a lot of Juvia's Place products. So I'm just going in with the powder and I'm just setting everything and then I am going to dust away the powder. I'm not going to let her bake because I don't want her skin because it's a little bit more on the dry side to hold on to that powder and create a cakey look. So I'm literally just putting this on to set it and then I'm going to dust everything away expeditiously and then I'm going to set her face with some setting spray. So she said, I'm just using a card that one of my clients actually got me because I could not find my fan. And um, now I'm just going in and just going in with that beauty blender that's still damp and just blending out anything that I feel as though needs to be blended just a little bit more before I go in and finish the rest of her makeup application. So you guys already know my favorite lashes are by High Profile. My friend Arami sells the best lashes. They range from $5 to $8. They're super affordable mink lashes. You can reuse them up to, I believe, 15 to 20 times as long as you are cleansing them and taking care of them properly. So because Tanisha has really small lids, I do have to go in and cut and customize hers just a tiny bit. And I'm just going in with the Lash Style A38, which is my, I think it's AH38. It's my favorite lash style on her website. But literally, I run through her lashes like crazy. Like I've ordered 20 of them. I'm literally on my last pair already just from doing clients. So now her lashes are sitting. I let those sit for about a minute. And then I just like to go in with that same sponge and just make sure that I'm lifting her skin under her eyes just to make sure nothing's glued together and just taking my time. So I'm just using this also to just remove the little outer corners because I like to put my lashes as close to the lash line as possible so that way they look natural without you even having to use in liner. So this is like my little hack. So a lot of times I'll tell my clients, keep your eyes closed for a minute. They're going to be tiny, like a little bit stuck. Um, they might not be, but don't freak out. I'm going to get you right. And a lot of times they're like, okay, do whatever. And then when they open their eyes, they're like, oh my God, these look like they're growing out of my face. So this is just a technique that I picked up along the way doing on myself. And I do this literally on every client. I, I just make sure that I communicate with them too. Like your eyes aren't going to be stuck together or nothing crazy. I won't get glue in your eye. Um, I'm just trying to make sure that these lashes are sitting where they need to sit. 
So now I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Contour Palette, which I've been using since the very beginning of me doing makeup. And I'm going in with that um, second to lightest, darker shade. I'm mixing some of them actually together. But you can see what I'm tapping into on the palette. I'm just going in and just adding in that um, contour around her forehead and her jawline. It's like a really subtle contour, but I just wanna make sure that everything is married together. So last but not least, I'm going in with my brand new high profile lip gloss. Rami, I love you so much. She literally gifted me all of her lip glosses off her website, just off the strength, and she would not allow me to pay her. So I'm definitely gonna already hook her up when she comes in next time, but girl, you do not have to do that. You are freaking awesome. So I just put this on Tanisha because she doesn't like to do nothing like wild with her lips, and I knew she was gonna be eating and all that because she is prego. So I let her keep this lip gloss, but I made sure just to grab some. So now that she is all done with the makeup application, I'm just gonna go in and curl her hair with my brand new T3 iron, which my husband gifted me for Mother's Day. Shout out to you, babe, because I know this was not cheap, but I wanted it so bad, and he got me this in the Kendra's Boutique um, hot comb, so you a real one for that. So now I'm just going in with the medium-sized barrel, and I'm just adding in some big curls really briefly. And then once I'm done, I'm gonna just leave in the footage of me pin curling her hair, because I do have um, some clients that leave with their hair pin curl just so that way it lasts. And I don't know if you guys know or need a tutorial on that, but I just figured I'd leave it in for anybody that might be in cosmetology school who wants to learn how to pin curl and make sure that your curls are slayed when you take them out, okay? Like, no cap, your girl is a beast when it comes to pin curls. Like, my pin curls be laid, honey. So I'm just going in, curling her hair, and then I'm going to yeah, pin curl her up, and then that will conclude the rest of this video. And I will also show you how it looks when it's down before I pin it up. And we are gonna put some edge control on towards the end. Um, I've literally talked almost this whole entire video, and I'm actually doing a voiceover in my car, and it's so hot right now, but I'm trying to get this done because all the kids are home, people are mowing grass, the, the garbage people that came by, like I'm over here just trying to get this done at this point. But thank you guys so much for rocking out with me, for being patient with me, for um, just supporting and showing love and commenting. That really does mean the world to me and it drives me to keep going because I started this channel because I just love what I do. And I hope that reads through the screen. And I just hope everyone has a wonderful and productive weekend. I hope my boss babes get money. I hope my black owned businesses thrive. I hope everyone in general just does a amazing job with what they're trying to do and you pursue your dreams and don't let anybody tell you otherwise you feel me so with that being said i'm going to finish out tanisha's hair and i will see you guys in the next video do not forget to tell me which intro you like intro a which is the first one or intro b which is the last one behind this clip thank you guys so much for watching have a great day i'll see you in my next video peace